In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Hey, hey, warrior saints. So my wife and I recently moved into a new house. And wanting to make it our own, it's our first house. We're having a lot of fun, and I'm having a lot of fun, hanging things, and putting up things, and mounting things, and doing all this stuff that you do when you have your own house and aren't renting. And my dad is coming to visit tonight to see the new house. So I want it to be perfect. I want it to be exact. So yesterday, we drove back from the Parish Life Conference in San Diego. Knowing that he's coming tonight, I was racing against daylight. Because I had a punch list, I had things I needed to get done, and the sun was going to go down soon. And we all know that once the sun goes down, you can't really get a lot done. Of course, I needed stuff that I didn't have. I needed to go get this, I needed to go get that. And I delayed what I needed to do so much that the sun went down. But nevertheless, I decided I was going to try, the handyman that I am not, try to hang these things that I needed to do last night in the dark. And I must have gone up and down the ladder five different times, picking up the same screw that I kept dropping and losing and not finding because I didn't have light. And ironically, could now not hang up the motion sensitive light that I was trying to hang because it was darkness. In this morning's gospel, Christ talks about this very thing. He says to us, the light, the, the eye is the lamp of the body. Fill yourself with light. Last week we talked about the distinction. Father Chris talked about how God created light. God separated the light from the darkness. God gave us light as a beacon. During the day, we have the sun. At night, we have the moon. And what does the moon do? It reflects the light of the sun. This light is a, a beacon for us, something that guides us, something that shows us the way. Similar to the way that a lighthouse draws a boat to the safety of shore carries the boat to, to, to that land, to find its grounding, to find its foundation. But what does it mean for us? What does it mean for us to be full of light? How do we become full of light? How do we become like the moon, which reflects the light of the sun? How do we reflect that light that God is telling us to let in through our eye, which is the lamp of the body? Well, Christ goes on in his teaching in this morning's gospel to tell us three things, which brings us to today's practical point. And the first is possibly the hardest. He tells us to be focused. Be focused. No one can serve two masters. How often do we try to serve two masters? We try to serve God and we try to serve ourselves. We try to serve others and we try to serve ourselves. We try to serve so many different people, listening, wanting to make them happy, wanting to keep people comfortable, wanting to try to please everyone. And in so doing, we end up pleasing no one. The next point that Christ shows is the result of our trying to serve two masters. He talks about anxiety. How much of our anxiety that we feel every day, of the pulling that we feel in our lives constantly, comes from trying to keep everyone happy. From trying to serve two masters. From trying to do everything. And not being able to do anything. Christ tells us, be free. Be free of this anxiety. When you are focused, you're freed from the anxiety of having to serve too many people, of trying to keep everyone happy. 
He gives us the example. Consider the lilies. Think about that example. Consider the lilies of the field. They do nothing. They exist. They're not trying to keep us happy by being pretty. They're not trying to keep the dirt happy by taking its nutrients. They just are doing what they have been created to do. And in so doing that, they have freedom. And what do we do with that freedom? The gospel ends today showing us clearly what to do with that freedom. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Seek first God's path. Seek first what God is teaching you to do so that you might have his kingdom in your heart, in your life, in the end. When we become seekers of God's kingdom, that becomes our focus. That becomes the master that we serve. We are bound by it. We are called under his commandments to do what he has created us to do. And that calling begins in our baptism. And what do we sing the minute the child is baptized? Vouchsafe unto me a robe of light. We're given this robe of light to guide us along this path, to be a beacon like the lighthouse pulling the ships to shore, guiding us along the path towards our true master, Christ, free of the anxiety that comes from serving other masters, freed from the anxiety that comes from serving ourselves so that we might seek only his kingdom. May the light of our God and Savior Jesus Christ guide us all to him and lead us to his salvation. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Amen.